Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Data with Dominic. And in this next video in our SQL Server and TSQL series, we're going to be looking at the default constraint. So the default constraint is used to set a default value for a column, and this will be added to all new records if uh, no other value is specified uh, for that particular column on which you've specified the default constraint. So we'll dive into demonstration and you'll understand it quite easily. It's a very simple concept and implementation. So as you can see here, I've created a table persons with a column ID, that's a primary key, last name, first name, age, and a column city, which is a string. And this one, this city column has the default uh, constraint thrown on it. And I've set the default value uh, to London. So this is the syntax which you need to follow. After the data type, you do a default. And then in single quotes, if it's a string, if it is an int, you could just put the number. But if since it's a string, in single quotes, you specify the default value. So I'm just going to create this table. All right, so first uh, insert case I'm going to show you is uh, just a normal set of uh, normal row of data, which has values for all columns in the table. So that works fine. And when we view the table, we can see that the city we've specified here, when, we, when we've explicitly specified a city, it overwrites, overwrites the default value specified in the default constraint. But now an interesting thing is when we specify a null command uh, in the column with which we specify the default constraint, and we run this, you'd be interested to know that we do get the null value and not the default value London in this case. Since the null value has been explicitly specified, the SQL Server engine sticks with that value and doesn't overwrite it with the default London value. But now the interesting situation comes when we insert values for only the first four columns in the table. That is. Uh, the ID, last name, first name, and age. And you you'd probably remember from our video on the insert into statement that when you're not specifying uh, values for every column in the table, you do have to specify the column names in the insert into statement. So we've only specified the first four column names and we've specified the first four values. So city has been left blank. And when we run this now, what we get is a default value in the place of city. Since no value has been explicitly specified, we get the default value which we've mentioned earlier above here. Unlike when we've explicitly specified the null value, the null value when it has been, when it has been explicitly specified overrides the default value. But when no value is specified at all, then the default value comes into play and is written with that row of data. So that was a bit about the default constraint in SQL Server. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.